It is all over at Madison Square Garden. No Jimmy Butler, and that was a problem for the Miami Heat as the New York Knicks leveled this best of seven game series at one game apiece with a 111 105 win over the Miami Heat. Jalen Brunson, the leading scorer with 30 points for the Knicks, 23 coming in the second half. And for more on the Knicks game two win over the Heat, we bring in Avery Johnson, former uh, NBA coach of the year, a champion as a player as well. This game could not have been much closer, Avery. We're talking about 13 ties, 16 lead changes. In your estimation, what was the difference for the Knicks? Well, it was definitely Jalen Brunson. And that's with all due respect to R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett had an incredible first half, but Jalen Brunson was magnificent tonight. And it's not just the points, but only one turnover. Took good care of the basketball, huge uh, second half. They finished the game on a 24 to 11 run. Um, and Jalen Brunson needed to score the basketball tonight. He couldn't be a distributor. They got, you know, Julius Randle back in the lineup tonight. Obi Toppin only played 10 minutes off the bench. Their bench with quickly was very ineffective tonight overall, but Jalen Brunson was stellar. And between Jalen Brunson, Barrett, and Julius Randle, they scored 79 of the Knicks' 111 points. They're going to need to find some other offense from, from some other players. Obviously, Josh Hart played extremely well, but this was a much-needed win. Uh, it wasn't a stylistic type of a game for the Knicks. I would still be a little concerned about how they won tonight, especially without the Heat having uh, Jimmy Butler, but, you know, it's 1-1. But Jalen Brunson was a superstar that he is, a 1-A player that I know the Dallas Mavericks are still scratching their heads on how they let this guy go. <laughs> Look, Julius Randle back in the lineup off that ankle injury that kept him out of game one. The Knicks are now 5-1 and one in the postseason when Randle plays. What is it that Julius Randle brings to the Knicks that sort of pushes them over the top from competitive to winning most of the time? Well, physicality. Uh, he brings that type of tenacity, especially on his drives where he plays through contact. Um, you know, he, he's a guy that can knock down a three. He's not necessarily a prolific three-point shooter, but it's that other ball handler on the floor to take the ball out of Jalen Brunson's hands, to allow them to initiate offense in a different way, especially when he's at the five position. He can play a little bit of what we call point five. That means your five man is, you know, acting as a point guard. He's capable of that. Uh, you can play him in the mid post, the low post, you can post him up at the elbow. And another really good defender. Uh, so Julius Randle with his plethora of uh, athletic ability and, and skill set, he's a guy that's multidimensional. And the Heat's got to account for him whenever he's on the floor, unlike if the Knicks play a non-shooter or a non-scorer in his place like they did in game one, which led to the Heat victory. The Knicks were able to play the Heat without Jimmy Butler on the other side on this night. Yet Miami was not only in this game, but for large portions of this game, looked like they were trying to pull away and trying to pull away. And the Knicks were kind of feeling like they were just hanging on. What is it about this Miami Heat team that just feels like they are incredibly tough to beat, no matter if Jimmy Butler's on the floor or not? Yeah, and they got four guys, five guys in double figures tonight. And Kevin Love was, you know, approaching double figures and, uh, th this is a team that's very dangerous, especially when you add Jimmy Butler back into this lineup. And if Jimmy plays anywhere close to the way he finished off this uh, Milwaukee Bucks first round series, the Knicks could could be in trouble. But Struce played well, Vincent uh, played well. Those guys are wanting to prove themselves. And when you got players that want to prove that they belong in the NBA and that they can be a part of a championship team. What, what, what do the Heat have, seven undrafted guys on their team? That shows that their scouting department have an eye for talent, and those guys always bring their lunch pails to work. They play extremely hard. They're very coachable. Uh, they're tough, and uh, they, they're really ancillary pieces that can really help the Heat uh, advance in this series, especially – when Jimmy Butler comes back and if he's playing at a high level. Hey, look, game three isn't until Saturday afternoon in Miami. Three full days of rest, three full days of opportunities for Jimmy Butler to get work done on that ankle. How important is it for the Heat to get Butler back in game three? Or would you suggest being patient and waiting till he's closer to 100%? No, he's playing in game three. Jimmy Butler <laughs> could have played tonight. 
Um, I think this was a little bit of a, a mulligan. You know, they tried to win this game and see if that mulligan can turn into a 280-yard drive down the middle of the floor at Augusta National. <laughs> so they had a free swing tonight. Uh, smart decision, give him more chance to get some rehab. You know, he'll take the next, the way it works, because I've been in this situation before, uh, the next two days, Jimmy's going to get nothing but rehab. And then they'll, the night before the game, the day before the game, he'll practice. He'll practice for about 45 minutes, and then he'll be in the lineup. He's not going to lose any conditioning. At this stage of the season, guys are well conditioned. So just because he missed a nice game, he'll be ready to go. I think the bigger question is, can the New York Knicks go down to Miami and be focused? There's a lot of distractions in Miami, especially for a young basketball team. Can you be focused and be ready to play against the uh, Miami Heat on Saturday? Well, the Knicks were focused, especially in the fourth quarter at MSG, picking up a seven-point win in game two to level their series with the Miami Heat at one game apiece. That's Avery Johnson. Avery, thank you so very much for the knowledge and the insight. Thank you. And for the New York Knicks, it was the big three coming up huge. Jalen Brunson with 23 of his 30 points in the second half to lead the Knicks to the victory. They get Julius Randle back in the lineup. He had 25 and 12, added eight assists. R.J. Barrett with 24 points. Knicks now 5-1 and one in this postseason with Randle in the lineup. And they'll all head down to Miami looking to take a series lead on the Heat on Saturday.